friends, I kiss you, I kiss you. Yes, I'm back, and I couldn't be more excited. No, really, I couldn't. Uh, you know, here we are with a lovely new series, and what an exciting summer it's been. Do you know, all that fuss about that teacher who was cleared of having sex with their pupils? <laughs> it's what parents have known for years. You can only judge a school by the quality of its head. Um, <laughs> it's all just so obvious. You thought I might have forgotten. No, uh, everyone stand up, please. Oh, God. <laughs> right, uh, stay standing, stay standing. If you've ever seen something you obviously shouldn't have. <laughs> An audible guy. Oh, loads of people! No, stay up! This is, this is a bonanza! An absolute bonanza! Uh, what, this? Is that like, what, what about you, lovely lady? What's your name? Uh, Julie. Julie. And, and what did you see that you shouldn't have? I saw my parents having sex. When I was really, really young, but I remember it. It's stuck in my memory. Really? Mm -hmm. what, what, I mean, I know you were young, but did it look good? Uh, well, they were enjoying themselves, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do, do you remember what position they were in or anything? Uh, missionary, actually, but they were a bit old-fashioned. That I was way, there. yeah. <laughs> do you think they'll be watching this? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> no, I bet you do. Uh, do you think of it sometimes when you see them now? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Uh, it makes me a bit red. Yeah, yeah um, over Christmas. Yeah. And even when they do kissing, I... Oh, I don't like it. Right, <laughs> thank you very much, Julie. Anyway, oh, right, I'll ask you, what have you seen? Uh, I caught my friend masturbating in my bed. <laughs> Well, you can't say fairer than that! <laughs> What's your name? Simon. Simon. Was this long ago? Uh, no, about six months ago, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and was he in it or on it? He was in it. Oh, dear. Do they? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Was he, was he the good grace to be embarrassed? Uh, he tried to cover it up, but obviously it didn't work. <laughs> Did you catch him at a point of no return? I don't think so. I'm hoping I didn't anyway. Well, because you didn't bother changing the duvet. <laughs> oh, I was too tired. I just turned it over and went to bed. He's a class act, isn't he? Very good. What was your name again? Simon. Simon. Simon of the wanking friend. <laughs> uh, right, uh, what, what's your name? Uh, Caroline. Caroline. Um, caught my husband having a big poo outside the restaurant after a meal. <laughs> Some of you may not quite have caught what she said. She caught her husband having a big poo outside a restaurant. Was it something he ate? Well, I hope so, but we were out with my boss at the time and it was like, oh my god, quick, finish, and get in the car. Finish. <laughs> Shake your tail. I know, it was awful, but the worst bit was we had to go. Back. No, no, wait. What, what do you mean, the worst bit? It's all worst! Because he didn't believe me, because he'd had too much drink, we went back the next day and somebody had stuck loads of pins and things in it, like a little temple-y thing. <laughs> there were all beer cans around it, so... Now, you see, the family that has time to go and look <laughs> at an old shit <laughs> has too much time on their hands. <laughs> Oh, dear. And uh, what was your name? Caroline. Caroline. Hurrah for Caroline and the Dilly Husband. That's a fantastic story. Well done, all the obvious people. But now, I've got to introduce the first guest as quickly as possible. <laughs> Gosh. That inspired piece of slow motion overacting gonna mean only one thing. Yes, it's my six million dollar first guest, Lee Majors! in the flesh. 
And actually, you, it is <coughs> slightly frightening because you really haven't changed at all. There was a time when I could have jumped from there to here, but um, that's been a while back. Here, have a drink. We could, might try it later. Well, that was the later show. The fall guy would tumble down the steps. <laughs> anyway, the fall guy. I like the fall guy. Because people always talk about the $6 million man, but I like the fall guy. I did too. Yeah. Uh, I did too. It was a little more humor. But now, but before we get on to the $6 million man, because you know we're going to... Uh, <laughs> You got to California. Now, is it true that you were discovered hanging around a park in L.A.? I mean, not in a George <laughs> Michael way, but... <laughs> uh, well, no, you tell me. <laughs> uh, I worked at a recreation uh, park, yeah. Uh, I uh, was a park director while I was in training for an act to be an actor and, and was doing stunts. And, yes, I worked for the recreation parks department. And then when I got my first job, um, I stayed at the park for another, because I wasn't sure the pilot of the Big Valley was going to go, so I stayed working at the park. And then finally, after about two years, I sent in my uh, resignation. After the series had gone about three years. <laughs> but now, you did uh, appear in Barbara Stanwyck's Big Valley. And I wonder... <laughs> what, was your part hard there? Yeah, it was, uh, it was difficult. <laughs> she was very demanding. Mm. She's not Lady Laughter, is she? No, no. She was, uh, she was a real disciplinarian, and uh, I think I learned... That's where I learned to be on time. And, and uh, when they say, you know, action, I'm there, I know my words, I hit the marks, and, uh, and I go home happy. But uh, <laughs> she was very, very tough, but very good. She kind of took me under her wing and taught me a lot about acting. But uh, it is true that how we remember you best is as... <laughs> <laughs> the six million dollar man in your red suit. I know, isn't it cute? Uh, did you have one of these? Did you have one of these? With the bionic eye. Oh. Look, it's amazing. <laughs> it's probably making quite dull television right now, but <laughs> for me, it's amazing. And, uh, and the, little, the little red suit there, very nice. Mind you, light a match near that, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> but you were a bit of a fashion icon. Because you didn't just wear that, no. You had lots of other outfits. Lovely, this. Wonderful, wasn't it? Denim leisure. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely accessories. Let's see the accessories. The right epaulets. The epaulets. To those Make shoes. It. Look at them. <laughs> it's hard to get leather that colour. <laughs> Unless you killed you the charmers. <laughs> anyway, it's an extraordinary gig because. You, you know, you went on, you did very successful series after that, but six million, it never goes away. You can still turn on the television and watch it, they're bringing out the yeah. video, it, it just never goes away. Why, why do you think it's so appealing still? The way I look at it is it was a, it was a show that the kids could watch, and the, and the families uh, got together and watched it, and uh, there was no violence. Whenever I, I threw a man down or I hit a man or something, he got up. We, we never killed anybody. There was not that much violence, and uh, I think it was a great kid show. And they had an idol, you know, and they were kids running, jumping off barns and trying to... <laughs> <Bring legs. laughs> and stuff. But I got to tell you, it was the hardest years I've ever had in acting. I mean, that was that show was very, very physically tough. Uh, I have to have a knee replacement pretty soon because I have no cartilage in this knee from jumping and running and doing all the stunts and stuff. But, uh, but, and they didn't pay me at all. <laughs> <laughs> now, and um, you must know that you are a huge phenomenon on the internet. This just so I, I'm, I'm, I'm a complete idiot. Uh, internet. Illiterate. I know nothing. I use a etch a sketch pad, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be fine when when the bug comes. We, we love the internet, and over over the, the months and weeks, we've met many interesting characters. Some might call them freaks. And, uh, who can forget Joan Collins and Keith the Glove Man, chatting hands free. So, uh, you, no, really, it was dodgy beyond belief. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you coming on, I was thinking, internet, and then I thought, superhero, and what a happy day it was when we found... <laughs> Brief Boy! <laughs> yeah, he is, he's, a, he's, a, uh, he's a superhero of the web. His name is Brief Boy. Brief Boy. Okay. And uh, here he is. That's... that's <laughs> the boy. Let's get him head back in there. Now, bizarrely, Lee, like all superheroes, Brief Boy isn't his real name. No, <laughs> really. It's Jeff. And uh, Jeff, he's into underwear, especially nylon briefs like the ones I'm wearing in my picture. Now, the odd thing, but really, because you kind of think, oh, well, it, this must be a sexual thing. I really think it is. He just likes pants. <laughs> he's hurting that's, no one. That's, that's, that's okay. In fact, he probably knows no one. So, uh, 
But he, here he is, and with his many happy hours. Uh, oh, I don't know who that is. Uh, so, there's picture pages. These are just, I don't understand. There's a policeman that he took a picture of. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he was doing. Something on the cover. Uh, <laughs> Aren't you sorry you don't have a computer now, Lee? No. See what you're missing? No. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, but anyway, these people uh, put messages up, up here. And uh, the weird thing is, some of them put their phone numbers in their messages. And you kind of think, are you mad? Are you mad putting your phone number on the web? And then you think, what's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> some freak might ring you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, <coughs> here he's back. It's Doggy Phone. <laughs> Who else have I got here? Uh, New York jockey man, and proud of it. Uh, he wears them, this is nice to know, he wears them every day in bed. <laughs> With vest tucked firmly inside. Uh, oh, he likes, he likes to freshen up underpants uh, that have enjoyed several days' use. <laughs> With my eager mouth and tongue. That's Bernard. We could talk to him. <laughs> what the hell? Um, <laughs> Bernard, huh? Bernard. His parents were obviously a little bit posh, and now look what's happened. <laughs> He's sucking old pants. <laughs> oh, I thought I had a dead dog in my hands. <laughs> Hello, is that Bernard? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, hello, Bernard. Uh, I got your Hi. number off Brief Boy's site. Yes. Yeah. I like pants as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what pants are you wearing right now, Bernard? Who is this? My name's Graham. Well, where, where are you? Me? I'm calling from London right now. You said call to talk about pants. <laughs> well, but are, are you th sorry? I, maybe I've got the wrong number. Are you the person who, who fre refreshes pants? Um. Well, it's a little difficult to me, for me to talk about that right now. <laughs> um, are you with some pants now? <laughs> The noise. Oh, I'm sorry. I've it, I've got neighbours and they've got television. What's the TV? TV's on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It distracts me. Oh. Okay. Do you, have you so, had many calls from people talking about pants? Well, usually at home, not at work. I'm at work right now. <laughs> Can you turn the TV down? I can't hear you. So, sorry, it's, it's just such crap. Um, listen, Bernard, should I let you get on with work? Well, uh, are you go will you call back? <laughs> of course I will, yeah. What, what, what are you wearing? What kind of underwear do you like? I like clean pants. <laughs> what are you wearing right now? Briefs, I always wear briefs. You're just the briefs? Yes, why friend? Quite. Okay. And do, do you see other people's briefs at work? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do they show them to you? No, you can, you can check them out when they're at the copy machine. <laughs> and do they know you're looking at their pants? No, of course not. And would you have a crafty fiddle under the desk, Bernard? <laughs> That's great. Um, <laughs> listen, I must let you get on. You don't, you don't do that? What, wank at work? <laughs> I'd be taken off the air burners. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye Bernard. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa. Doggy phone. Oh. <laughs>
little sniffer dog. And this, this is at Join Lee and myself in part two with my special second guest. And we'll have some smelly bags and an all singing, all dancing, clever dick. See you after the break. Bye bye. <laughs>